We are doing the final question of question two of the grade 12 RT PRAC exam from November 2019. As I said, the last question of question two, the database question. So let's look at this question. They want us to do a coach and goalkeeper of all the teams are invited to a special training session. So we want to create a list of all the coaches and the goalkeepers of the respective team. Okay, so they've given us code to do the column width and that we're going to display it in this, I'm assuming this rich edit. Okay, so we want to display the name of the team. We want to display the coach and then the goalkeeper by the surname, common name. Okay, so those are the three things we want to display. So before we can do this, let's just look at the database tables to see how we're going to interact with them. So yeah, I've got the tables. This, this is TBL players. Let's scroll. Let's make this a some room. TBL players, and this is uh, TBL teams. Now, the coach is in this table, but the name of the goalkeeper is in this table. And you know it's a goalkeeper because that is true. So this person is the goalkeeper for the under 16 B team. So they want us to create a list of the team name and the coach and then the corresponding goalkeeper of that team. So basically, we're going through both of these tables. So we're going to start with the team table because that's the team. And that's the coach. And then we're going to take that team name and we're going to go through this entire players table looking for that team name. And if we find the team name, we're going to go, hey, okay, we've got a player from the team. Are they the goalkeeper? No. Okay, we're going to carry on going until we find a goalkeeper's true. So we're looking for the team name to match and the goalkeeper to be true. So those are the two requirements. And when we find that, we're going to get the surname and name from this section here and display it with the team name and the coach name okay so those are the things so we first going to loop through this table and for each and every record in this table we're going to loop through that table okay so those are our, our options so there's two loops here that we're going to be doing so let's do it so here we've got the program we're going to be displaying all those values into this little edit controls rich edit there rich edit q222 and we're going to click on this button so they've done some editing for the the rich edit for us so we can just write the code over here so let's do the code so the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be going through the teams table so tbl teams dot first okay and then we're going to say tbl while not at the end of tbl teams what are we and then inside here we're going to be doing something do something and then once we get to the end we're going to say tbl teams dot next that's our algorithm normally and because we're going to have lots of ends and then let's just have a this is the end of the teams while so this is the end of the looping through the teams okay so we've got that done now what are we doing we are going to have to extract we need to check which team we're going to get so i'm going to first double check which team we're looking at so we can have variables i don't know if we want to make variables so let's make a variable for the team that we're looking at actually we don't need to we can just refer to tbl team so let's go so so we're going to display before we display i'm now going to loop through the players table so over here we're going to go tbl players dot first and while we are not at the end of the players table, begin end, and this is the end of the players while. And remember over here, we're going to say TBL players dot next. Now the key thing here is we must keep our heads about ourselves whenever we're referring to the players table or the teams table. So pretend, yeah, we are at the first record of our players table. So, I mean, our team's up. Yeah, yeah. We had under 14A and the coach. So I want to go and fetch. I'm, so I'm, I'm not there. So pretend that's where the button is. Now I'm going to loop through this and I'm going to check each player until I find a match of that team and that goalkeeper. So this is going to be done in this player loop. So while we're going through, we're going to say, hey, if the team, TBL players, which property if their team name is the same as the team name from the teams table that means there's a match so if the player's team name is the same as the teams 
team name from the teams table remember we are at this first record so we're looking at under 14a so if we find a team name that's under 14a we've got part of the thing that we're looking for that's the first criteria and at the same time that the tbl players and if they're a goalkeeper which is the goalkeeper field if the goalkeeper field is equal to true because it's a boolean value so we can just type in the word true if those two criteria remember we've got an and so let's put this in brackets so this must also be in brackets so those are my two criteria so I'm going so I'm starting with the first record there and I'm going through is this under 14a and true no under 14a and true under 14a, no I'm going to go through until I find an under 14a and a true once I've found that particular point then I know I've got the goal I'm at the goalkeeper position here for the player once I'm there then I can type it I'm going to type in the name of the team the name of the coach and the goalkeeper okay so that's where I'm going to start typing in so once I find this match once I'm here, I found a match. I found the goalkeeper's name. I'm at I'm at the first team, and I'm at the right place in the players table that has the details of the goalkeeper. When I'm there, then I'm going to say, okay, the rich edit dot lines dot add, and I'm going to add. Remember what we want to add? We want to add the team name. So TBL, we can use the teams table. Their team name doesn't actually matter which team if you use players or team because it'll be the same then I'm going to add a hash nine and now I'm going to put the coach's name which is from the teams table the coach and then I'm going to put another hash nine and now I'm going to put the goalkeeper now remember the goalkeeper was surname then a comma and then a space and then the name okay so there we're going to add the TBL. Now we're in the players table and we get in the player surname because they're a goalkeeper, player surname. And we're going to add a comma and a space and then we're going to add the TBL players player name. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. So the first time we do this is double check. So we're going to start with team one, the first team under 14A. While we're at that team, before we move on to the next team, we're going to go through all the players until we find a match, the player that matches that team, but he's also the goalkeeper. That's what that is for. If we do find it, then we're going to display the team name plus the coach's name plus the um, the name of the player from the players table because the coach and the team we can get from the team. Then we go to the next record and so uh, we carry on going until we find. Now we finish going through for that team. Now the teams will go to the second record, which would be under 14B. And now under 14B would start at the first player and go through until we find, you know what, boom, there, under 14B. Oh, that's not the goalkeeper though. And go until we find an under 14B team with the goalkeeper true and display that name. And then it's going to move on to under 16A and go through this list and so on. So we as we each time we go through this we are going through all of the players okay so let's see if that works let's see if we've got everything we need so we go through first boom, 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 boom. okay let's see if that works let's see if it runs okay there we go it's compiling no errors that we can see here. there we go so we in the Delphi code so we want to display the code Okay, so let's go test our results with the actual results at the bottom here. Boom, all the way down here. So they give me an example of what it looks like. So let's go, boom. I'm going to move it to the side there. So the under 14A, that's the coach. That's the goalkeeper. Under 14B, coach, goalkeeper. Coach, goalkeeper. Looks like, oh, we got it spot on. So we got all the teams and their corresponding goalkeepers. So there we go. It was not as complicated as we thought. It wasn't as much code. But the key thing here was that we were looping through the teams first. And for each team, we were going to go through all the players. So there was like a, a nested loop here. We looped through the teams table. And for each team, we're going to look for the corresponding player that's a goalkeeper. And so we search. Oh, we find it. Boom. Display it. Move on to the next team and so on. Okay. So this, what's nice about this is even if there were two goalkeepers in a team, it would display it 
let's play both goalkeepers so this is what's nice about this guy so there we go we got a loop through the teams then for each team we're going to go players are first loop through the players and go through each and every team boom done go to our youtube channel subscribe if you want to find other videos from this vid this exam walkthrough uh, leave a comment we'd love to hear from you follow us on twitter and facebook and remember don't do it the long way do it the mr long way